I'm Donald Holliday. Uh, some people at Missouri State University called me Dr. Donald Holliday, uh, but uh, some of them called me a lot of other things too. I was professor of English, department head, associate dean, a few other things there, but I taught American literature um, for mm, up to 35 years or so. I edited Ozark's Watch, a magazine uh, devoted to Ozark's culture, um, and I wrote quite a number of articles for it. Um, but I, uh, uh, I'm uh, a descendant of the Randolph County, Arkansas loonies. Um, sixth generation Ozarks loony, I guess. Uh, my uh, uh, great, great, great grandfather was William Looney, uh, who was the father of Michael Looney, um, who was the father of William Clinton Looney, uh, who was uh, my great grandfather. Uh, my great grandfather was married to uh, uh, Caledonia Adliza. Looney. My grandmother, their daughter, was Mima Looney, who married Charles Drain. My mother was Mabel. She was born at Elm Store, Arkansas. Kind of proud of my uh, Randolph County, Arkansas past, even though I grew up just over the line in Missouri west, some 50, 60 miles. Uh, the Arkansas line never meant much to me, largely because our blue tick hounds didn't give a damn where it was, and uh, nor, nor did uh, uh, deer or other things. So if the hounds didn't pay any attention to it, uh, what good could it have been? I mean, politicians paid attention to it, but who are they? Uh, the loonies. I'm sixth generation Ozark loony. The loonies, uh, the name suggests they might have been a little crazy. They, I think we were. They never stayed where it was civilized and safe. Robert Looney was one of the first white men to settle in southwestern Pennsylvania. And uh, one of his sons was uh, Absalom Looney, who settled what's known as Abs Valley uh, on, up uh, uh, in the Appalachians. It's said that Ab, Ab went ginseng hunting with Daniel Boone up there in the mountains. Uh, and then uh, William Looney left uh, eastern Tennessee and came to Randolph County, Arkansas somewhere just barely past 1800 when there were almost no white men west, white uh, uh, Europeans west of the Mississippi, except for maybe some Spanish administrators down in New Orleans who were inviting those land-hungry Anglo-Saxon, Scot-Irish axe wielders to come west and clear land and settle this country. And William Looney was one of the first ones to do it. And uh, apparently did a pretty good job of it along with, with others who came, along with stubble fields and, uh, uh, and others. Uh, the Looney's were manskers. It means they came from the Isle of Man, somewhere between Scotland and Ireland. Uh, I mean, the Scot-Irish are supposed to be Scots who settled in Ireland, but the Manskers were, well, they were considered Irish, but um, they were about as much Scot as Irish. One thing is clear, they were darn good hands with an ax in a hardwood country, because that's how you cleared this country. It's how you dovetailed logs like this. And uh, the, uh, um, the loonies 
uh, made up a, a long line of settlers. The last one I'll mention in that line is Jesse Looney, who went to Oregon in 1843, one of the worst, uh, one of the first, maybe the worst too, but one of the first wagon trains to make the trip to Oregon. Uh, in a newsletter from the North American Manx Association, a writer named Ed Sale wrote, Little did Robert Looney know, and that Robert Looney is the guy who settled southwestern Virginia, little did Robert Looney, a Manx farmer from Balagile, Moghold, town and county in the Isle of Man, realize when he arrived in the New World about 1731 that he and his descendants would be recorded in the annals of their new land as frontiersmen and patriots. Well, that they were.